I hope you're really enjoying the sunshine. I know that we're having a great time out in the sun. Uh, just to say, today we're, we're looking at reading uh, clocks and trying to find out what the time is from looking at clocks. It's one thing that teachers often say to me, Gareth, that's one of the hardest things to teach. How, what's the best way to do that? And so we're going to have a go in an unusual way by looking at different broken clocks because there's so much information to look at from a clock. If you can take some of it away, it can actually help you to learn. So I hope it's really, really useful. Um, and I hope you'll find it really different as well. Enjoy. Well, today we've got so much to cover in looking at reading times and the different examples that we've got. So we are going to get straight into it. Uh, the title today is Broken Clocks. We'll get to the broken clocks. First of all, we're going to have a look at some that work properly. Um, so when you're reading time, um, you're given an hour hand and a minute hand and we have this circular number line. So this, this number line that goes all the way up to 12 and it's in a circle because of course time just kind of keeps going. There's not an end to this number line. Um, and when I'm trying to read the time, I've got to look at the hour hand and so if the hour hand is pointing directly at 4 and it's 4 o'clock then the minute hand will be pointing directly up to 12 and so I know that this is 4 o'clock. Now have a look at particularly the position of the hour hand how it changes when we get to 4.30. So we've gone from four o'clock to 4.30. And you notice that the hour hand isn't pointing at the four anymore because the hour hand keeps moving. It moves very, very gradually. And so now it's between four and five. So it's before five and it's half past four. And the minute hand also shows us it's half past because it's gone half the way around the clock to the six, six is half of 12. Or equally, I could say 4.30 because it's six lots of five minutes. You can see each of those markings as five marks in between the uh, the intervals here. Um, and then as we keep going from 4.30 to 4.45, notice that hour hand as well from 4.30 to 4.45. It's just creeping forwards. So it's nearer to five now than the four, but it's still not five yet. So it's still four. Um, and it, it's 45 minutes because that is nine lots of five minutes. So we're going up in five, 10, 15, all the way up to 45. Now, have a look at these two clocks. Um, which clock shows three o'clock? One's correct and one's incorrect. See if you can work out which one. Pause the video. Okay, I, I wonder if you could tell. Well, the one on the left shows three o'clock. The one on the right actually just isn't a time at all that you would show. You might say, oh, no, no, actually, it is quarter past 12. Well, actually, if it was quarter past 12, this hour hand would be a bit past the 12. Um, so it, it, this one actually just isn't a time that you would see. OK, so have a look at this clock. I'm going to show you some incorrect answers that I've been given when I've asked children, what is the time here? And I'm just going to encourage you to remember here, which one's the hour hand, which one's the minute hand. OK, now I showed them in different colours before, um, but I want you to see if you can think which one's the hour hand, which one's the minute hand. Now, explain the mistakes. The correct time here is actually 2.45. OK, now have a look at these incorrect responses. What mistakes have the children made, made on those three examples? So see if you can explain what do you think they might have thought that was incorrect there? I wonder if you can figure that out for any of those three examples. Pause the video and, and have a think. OK, well, let's have a look. So the correct time is 2.45. How could I think it's 9.14? Well, very easily. If I think that's the hour hand, then the hour hand I maybe think is pointing at the 9 and the minute hand. Oh, well, that is 14 minutes past, maybe, I think. Um, of course, it, it, it isn't that because this isn't the hour hand. This one's the minute hand here. This one's the hour hand. Three. I might think it's 3.45. I, I correctly get the minutes as 45 minutes. But I might think it's three because I think, oh, that hour hand is almost pointing at the three. But remember, it hasn't reached three yet. So it's actually just before three. It's between two and three. So it's 3.45. And how might I think it's two? Oh, 09. Well, I've got the hour hand right because it's it's two hours. It's not three hours yet. But I might think it's nine minutes past if I'm if I'm thinking each time this that the minute hand is also counting up in ones, which of course it isn't. These mini lines are for the minute hand, showing it counting up in fives. Now, have a look at these two clocks here. I wonder if you can explain the mistakes that children have made here when they've answered these these given the times these two uh, for these two clock faces uh, pause the video what mistakes have they made 
Okay, I, I wonder if you spotted them. So, for the first one, five minutes past two. No, it's not five minutes past two. It is past two, but this is five lots of five minutes. 25 minutes past two. And what about this one? 2.45? Well, it is 45 minutes, but of course, it isn't 2.45. It's 1.45. We haven't got as far as two o'clock yet. It's between one and two, so it's not 2.45. Okay, have a look at this one. Which answer? Is it 2 minutes 10.02, 2 minutes past 10, or is it 10.10? Uh, pause the video. Okay, so again, we have this possible mistake. It is not uh, 2 minutes past 10, because this is not 2 minutes. It's actually 10 minutes. It's 2 lots of 5 minutes. So it's 10 minutes past 10. A lot of times when people are trying to show clocks uh, in a shop to sell them, or, or in a magazine, you might see the, the hands on this time, because perhaps it's like the most attractive time for some reason for a clock. Um, now, we're going to play missing hand, and this is where our broken clocks come in. So, this time, on this clock, the minute hand is missing. But I wonder if you can figure out about what time do you think it is, and how do you know? Um, so, think where do you expect the minute hand to be? Um, pause the video. What, what time do you think it might be on this broken clock? Okay, well, let's have a think. Well, it is after eight and before nine. So, um, oh, and it, it's only a little bit after eight. It's before half past. Here, because half past would be about there. So, let's have a look. It is 8.15. Quarter past eight. Let's have a look at another one. Um, so, again, you've just got the hour hand on this broken clock. Uh, ooh, what time could it be this time? Uh, pause the video. Have a think about this one. Well, this one is quite a tricky example because you might be thinking it's five something. I know the hour is five, but actually the hour is four. I, I, I thought about 4.50 because it's not reached five o'clock yet. It's nearly there, but it hasn't reached five o'clock yet. And although, because it is so close, this is such a small gap, I thought maybe 50 minutes of that hour have, have gone past. And I've got a little tricky one for you. How about this one? What time could this one be? This is a little bit of a trick question, I'll be honest. Pause the video. Hmm, so why is this one a trick question? Well, there, I gave you the minute hand. So what I know about this one is it's got to be, uh, that's 45 minutes. So it could be 2.45. But I mean, it could be 3.45. Or it could be 11.45 as well. Because you've been given the minute hand, there's loads of other options as to what the hour hand could be. The hour hand tells you really when about in the day it is. You can almost tell the time from the hour hand. The minute hand just helps to be that little bit more precise. So we can get to today's activities by clicking on the blue link underneath the video. Um, if you kind of feel like you're getting your head around reading the time from clocks, have a go at these first two questions here and then have a go at the missing hand questions below. If you feel a little bit more confident, have a go at the missing hand questions here and then see if you can estimate the times on these clocks. Now, the way to check your answers is slightly different. There are answers to some of the questions, but for the which clock questions, my suggestion is this. Actually use this interactive clock. So when you draw those times, what you could do is actually have a look at the clock if you want to check them um, or you want some help with that. And let's say you wanted to check uh, there what time you think that is because you think you've drawn yours about there. And then if you go, and I'll let me move it down so we can see it properly. And if we go show, it will show what that time is. And I thought that might be a better way to, to check those answers. Um, either way, I hope you really enjoy the activity today and I'll be back again tomorrow.